Let's go! So a lot of altcoin actually took a dip together with Bitcoin and now is a good time to start looking for those opportunities. And at this point in a bull run, it can be a little difficult to decide which altcoins to enter into as many of them are already up significant amounts over the past year or several months. But while there is no way to ever be 100% certain what will go up or down, some of the best things to look at are the level of hype around the coin, the community and the team supporting it, whether or not it has anything exciting coming in the near future, and of course how the chart looks in terms of technical analysis. Today I will be sharing with you all several projects that I believe check a lot of those requirements and could do very well. Before I get started with those, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos on the best altcoins and everything else I am posting on my channel. So the first coin for today is Algorand. If you are unfamiliar with this project, it is a layer 1 protocol that utilizes a pure proof of stake consensus mechanism to provide immediate transaction finality and blocks that are finalized in seconds along with a throughput on par with large traditional finance networks. So if you watched my video yesterday about how Elon Musk and Tesla are considering other blockchains than Bitcoin to use for payments for vehicles, Algorand is definitely a viable candidate for that, especially after some recent announcements that have been made. As you can see, Algorand has partnered with Climate Trade or Climate Trade to offset the small amount of carbon their network produced so they could become carbon negative. If carbon emissions really were the main reason that Tesla moved on from Bitcoin, then this makes Algorand a very attractive choice for them. Some other attractive features of the Algorand blockchain are shown here. First, there are Algorand standard assets, which are basically customizable tokens directly on layer 1. You could think of these as uh, similar to ERC20 tokens on Ethereum. Algorand also has native support for multi-party atomic transfer, which opens up the possibility to create complex transactions for use within decentralized finance or other services built on top of Algorand. To enable the creation of these services and other dApps, Algorand provides stateless smart contracts which are faster, cheaper and more scalable than smart contracts on other chains that usually require much higher fees to interact with. As you can see, Algorand has a lot of unique advantages over many of the other layer 1 protocols and is already fully functional, so I would not be surprised if it saw some significant price increases as more people discover it and give it a try, which could be happening any time now as people continue to look at Ethereum alternatives while the gas prices are crazy high. Next up is a smaller coin and that is Pluton. So Plutus is a project that allows you to set up a traditional bank account and receive a Visa debit card that can be used all over the world to spend your crypto with. I think a lot of us have probably had problems at some point of having to decide how much money to put into crypto and how much to leave in the bank for daily expenses and wish that there was an easier way to manage things as usually it can take several hours or even more than a day to go from crypto to cash in your bank. Plutus solves this problem by allowing users to manage their fiat and crypto in the same place and even provides a decentralized exchange that allows you to trade between fiat and crypto. So currently, you can set up an account if you live in either the UK or Europe and when you do, you will receive a UK sort code, an account number or a European IBAN number to go with your account and it only takes a few minutes to set this up. Aside from the benefit of being able to easily spend your crypto, there are other special benefits to using the Plutus card as well, such as 3% in cashback for every purchase and 15% back at selected retailers. A big advantage that Plutus has over crypto cards such as Crypto.com is that Plutus does not take custody of your crypto. Users remain in full control of their funds. This is big. The Pluton token is used as a loyalty token. The rewards earned from using the card are paid in Pluton and users are incentivized to hold on to it to obtain further rewards. 
One example of this is that by staking Pluton, users can unlock a premium and pro account with some extra bonuses. All in all, this is an interesting project and I think that anyone who is interested in using crypto for more than just investing should definitely give it a look. And as I said, compared to Crypto.com, compared to Swipe and all of these others, you are in control of your crypto and this is what is making me interested in this project. I think that a lot of people are going to move towards this as the new retail investors actually get involved in crypto for real more than buying Dogecoin and buying these other meme coins. So next up is Injective. I actually made a video about this project a long time ago when it was very small talking about its potential and it has done very well since then. Now that it is more established, I think that it has the potential to become one of the biggest players in the synthetic derivative space alongside projects such as Synthetics, which currently has a market cap of more than seven times that of Injective. Injective is built as a layer 2 Cosmos zone, but has a bridge to Ethereum and thanks to the IBC protocol introduced by Cosmos, it will easily be able to become interoperable with other networks as well. Because it is built on layer 2, Injective actually allows for trading with zero gas fees at extremely high speeds. Injective utilizes an on-chain order book to allow users to place limit orders. Users can also create customized futures markets for pretty much anything with a price feed which enables trading of assets outside the typical range of just cryptos, commodities and some equities. As we can see right here, Injective is partnered with some of the biggest name in crypto such as Binance, Pantera, CMS, QCP, Nascent and several others. Derivatives are one of the largest markets in traditional finance as well as in crypto, so there's a lot of room for Injective to grow in the future as crypto continues to expand. So these next two coins are actually sponsoring this video, so a big, big thanks to these two projects coming up. And the first one I want to talk about is Curate, a project that provides a gasless NFT marketplace app. Right now, the app is in beta testing, but we can take a look at all of the features that will be available when it releases. Of course, you can buy, sell, and mint NFTs within the app, but there is much more to it aside from that. One interesting feature is that Curate provides a launchpad for exclusive NFT releases such as their own NFTs that provides a staking boost. Another bonus that Curate has over other selling platforms is that it only takes a 4% commission as opposed to 5% taken by Rarible and 15% taken by Amazon. One reason that this project may see a lot more mainstream adoption than others is because it provides the option to pay using a card or PayPal along with the typical crypto option. If we take a look right here, we can see that Curate has already secured a lot of different partners such as TrustSwap, Paid, Uniquely, which I covered in a video recently, Gather, CyberFi, Travel and many more that are shown here and others that are being announced soon. The gasless transactions with the NFTs are made possible thanks to Curate's X-Chain and the X-Cure token on it. The X-Chain can handle 20,000 transactions per second and also allows for in-app swaps between X-Cure and USD or <laughs> USDXC. Paying with X-Cure for purchases is also gasless and buyers and sellers can also earn rewards denominated in X-Cure. The Xcure LP tokens can be staked to earn around 8% APY and single asset staking for Xcure and USDXC are coming soon along with voting rights for Xcure holders and the borrowing and lending platform. Xcure is available on Ethereum as well as the Binance Smart Chain where the fees are much cheaper and it has a supply of 8.5 million of which 50% is held by the community of more than 25,000 holders. So if we move over to the chart for just a minute, we can see that the price recently found a significant support and has been respecting it very well as it consolidates above it. If we move back to the website and take a look at the roadmap, we can see that there is a lot of exciting events coming soon. First, there are two top 25 exchange listings, one on Bitcoin.com and one that will be announced soon. The Xcure token is being integrated with Travala and Shopping.io. 
The general marketplace app is rolling out to pre-registered users and the NFT marketplace app is launching. Also, the X chain is launching and all of that will take place before the end of Q2. So as we can see right here, there's even more planned for Q3 and 4. So the last project I want to cover today is Whole Earth. And it is a project unlike any I have ever covered before. So the Whole Earth Foundation was created to address the issue of the world's aging infrastructure. Aging infrastructure is becoming more of a concern across the globe as many societies face deterioration and inefficient infrastructure management. The estimated investment to revitalize infrastructure across the world is 3.9 to 9.7% of the world's GDP. There are many promising technical solutions to help solve these issues, but implementation of them has been resisted. The whole Earth Foundation believes this is due to several factors such as corruption, overbearing bureaucracy and underskilled labor forces. Infrastructure is one of the least digitally transformed sectors and the two fundamental factors named by the whole Earth Foundation for that are imbalanced access to information between infrastructure service providers and citizens along with a lack of general interest and incentive among parties to challenge the status quo. So the whole Earth Foundation was created to help provide a solution to these problems by democratizing infrastructure management and providing an ecosystem of tools powered by an environmental database containing extensive information about the environment and infrastructure. Their goal is to revolutionize how communities engage with their infrastructure by making citizens the primary players of the ecosystem by participating in various activities and data crowdsourcing efforts to help improve their infrastructure and environment. People who participate and help will be rewarded in Whole Earth Coin or WEC for short. This will incentivize communities to engage with their infrastructure and help them closely interact with infrastructure service providers much more efficiently. Over time, the environmental database will grow through player contributions creating the most advanced unified data source on infrastructure and the environment. Partnering organizations and service providers who want to utilize the environmental database and other services provided by the foundation will buy WEC as a membership fee. Additional fees will be collected per project base. As you can tell, this project is taken on an enormous problem across the entire world and it is very ambitious. But if they are successful, then they could change the world and the WEC token could see massive adoption and value accrual. We can take a look at the roadmap right here to see exactly how the team is working towards their goals. During Q2, they are partnering with a major Japanese water infrastructure firm, starting to develop a proof of concept project and releasing the beta version of their whole Earth Explorer. Beyond Q2, we can see some other upcoming milestones such as pilot testing, expanding their partnerships and the official release of the proof of concept and enabling the exchange of WC for goods and services. One last thing I want to take a look at is the team which is filled with some very experienced and highly educated individuals. Daiki Moriyama is a former consultant at Boston Consulting Group in Deloitte. He worked as the only Japanese in Tel Aviv, Israel and is connected to over 300 companies there which will play a pivotal role in connecting with international businesses. Hiroyaki Sengoku has a PhD from the University of Tokyo and is a geographic information science wizard. Kuki Sasagawa is a Silicon Valley native who is highly skilled in scientific research, data science and software development. The list goes on as you can see here and every member is very skilled and brings essential knowledge to the project. So that is everything they need to succeed. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did let me know down in the comment section and I will see you in the next one.